Welcome to the Glory Ram Devotion Moment. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. The Master, our Savior, is so real, and He has such a wonderful agenda for you today. He said, My plans for you are good, not evil plans to bring you to your expected end. But this is the question Do you know the expected end of the Lord for your life? Do you have an idea? You know, people keep living life not really knowing the reason and the purpose for their lives. A lot of people have made out a lot of visions and plans for themselves, but the Bible says many are the plans in a man's heart, but it's the purpose of the Lord that will stand. So if you start going in the wrong direction, that is not the will of God for your life, you are going to have a lot of obstacles, not like in the right direction, there won't be obstacles, but you, you're in the wrong dire direction, you are likely going to have more obstacles. You are going to struggle to be what God destined you to be because you are veering off. Now, when you are on the right path, you're going to begin to have all of the supernatural enabling grace that will help you to become what God destined for you to be. And Paul, talking about that, as we saw yesterday, says, I do not consider brethren that I have captured and made it and made it by my own yet but one thing I do it is my one aspiration forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead you know what it means to strain it means to make more effort put in more than you have been doing before. For example, if you w have work out and you're having press up and you, you used to have, you stop at 25, uh, the day you want to go to a little bit more like 24, when you get to 25, your body will tell you, this is where we stop. But if you want to break that limit, then you have to push your body. And then you push beyond 25 and you go to so you want to go from 25 rather to 28. And then you push your body and you go from 25 and 26, 27. Now your body will be crying. But as you strain, you are able to break the limit. Paul said, I don't want to have it easy on myself. That's what he's saying. I want to work more so that I can attain onto what he destined me to be. Now, we have a role to play there. In verse 14, he opened our understanding more. And you need to look at the scripture with, with the lens of the Spirit of God. It says, I press on toward the goal to win the supreme and heavenly prize to which God in Christ Jesus is calling us upward. Now, take note. Now, when he talked about attaining unto the supernatural life, the life in the spirit, he was talking about actually attaining unto that life. But the overall goal for every one of us is to one day stand before God and hear him say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Says I press on toward the goal to win the supreme and heavenly prize to which God in Christ Jesus 
is calling us upward. See, when, if you use the term calling, it means it's not what has happened. It's a present continuous term. So he had answered the call on the road to Emmaus. He encountered him. And then he answered the call. And when he answered the call, see, Jesus said he will suffer many things because of the gospel. That's Paul. All right? So that was why he too is not afraid to identify with the suffering of Christ. Okay? Now, he's saying, I am pressing on toward the goal to win the supreme and heavenly prize. See, there is a life that we live here that can be out of the ordinary among other human beings and there is the ultimate goal all right so we want to live the supernatural life here but you see it will be foolishness if we live supernaturally and we you know like he wrote in first corinthians 13 you speak in tongues you 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 perform great miracles but at the end of the day you are cast away he said, I don't want to be a castaway after preaching all of this. So the supreme and heavenly prize is to be able to make it to heaven. And beloved, it's, that's why it says, it's the prize to which God in Christ Jesus is calling us upward. And those who say they are going to stay here, they are free to stay here. But me, I would rather be where my Lord and Savior is. There's a greater prize. We mustn't miss heaven. I don't want to miss heaven. I don't want you to miss heaven. That's why we have to start by making Jesus our Lord and, and Lord and personal Savior. And we have to be true Christians. Live the life of a true Christian attain on to spiritual resurrection and moral resurrection stop struggling with sin and start living for him all you need to do is to ask that lord jesus to be your lord and personal savior and live for him each day and you will have it thank you for being part of today's broadcast it's been a wonderful time it's been a wonderful time with you i look forward to sharing the word of god with you by the grace of god tomorrow till then i'm ego louis god bless you he is my God. He is my King. Is there somebody who has such testimony in the house tonight? So can we give him the praise? Can we give him the glory that is you unto his name? Come on, if he's your King, come on, give him the praise. Now, this is a danceable one. Come on, hear me, let's go.